Okay, in today's video, we are going to be doing the unboxing of the Tower of the Divine. Now, this has been around for a while. You may recognize this deck because a lot of people have done reviews on this. A lot of people have done unboxings of this. It's only really just recently joined my collection. I wanted to utilize it live for a few readings so I could discuss it and give my version of what I think about it. Do you own this deck? I would really be interested to hear your thoughts on this now. It is quite a big box. You know, you can see the insert there for the cards and the booklet goes on top. It has got a colored booklet. It is well bounded. It is very easy to use. You know, as if you've been following my channel for a while, you would know that I really, really, really love white, little white books or LWBs as they're called with just very short meanings. Now, We'll quickly run through this. There's a few things that I wanted to go through with the guidebook. One of this is I really enjoy the fact that the guidebook itself is in color. I feel like that's a really big plus for me because when we open up the guidebook, we see the card again. It really helps to put that in your memory banks. What does this card mean when you're reading? I feel like it's like rote learning for me. I really, really enjoy this. I know Hay House has stopped doing this. I think it's more for money, but I find for me reading, looking at the card, looking at the words, it sort of really helps me have a dictionary or an encyclopedia of meanings pinned to this card in my memory bank. So it's very, and then, you know, I am getting old, so it's a lot easier for me to grasp onto those keywords. Now, another thing is with the spreads, they are in color. Also, as well, at the beginning, you have the numbers of what they mean. Now, not a lot of decks actually include this. Very, very helpful with this deck. And also the meanings of the suits, for instance, cups, spirituality, water, emotions and feelings, coins, materialism, earth, wealth and physicality, swords, intellect, air, understanding and the mind, and one's creativity, fire, vitality and the heart. So really like this. As you can see, it goes through all of them, all of the book, all of the cards, right to the end. And this deck has been around since 2020, which doesn't seem that long, but it seems like a long time for me because I've been seeing this a lot. But as I said, it's only just coming to my collection. I bought it secondhand, secondhand like new. Guys, use your decks. Don't be afraid to use them. So I really wanted to um, show you the cards. Now, the cards themselves are printed. My favorite. I don't know what you call this, but it's my favorite type of printing. It's like gloss and satin. This was exactly printed the way Tarot of the Japanese Poetry deck is printed. I did show it really, really um, closely. It glides when you shuffle. Now, I don't riff shuffle. I, because I go live, I don't riff shuffle. I just don't like it. And I do the handover, glides, simple. The kids, the kids, their cards don't fling out. Love it. Okay. The back, you know, it, it's standard for me. It, it's a standard card reverse. It's not to be eye catching, I don't think, but it's showing the uniqueness of the deck because of this symbolism here. You'll find it again on the top of each card. The cards themselves, very colorful. Um, they've got the clear border around this. They have got the symbolism in here. If you look at each card very carefully. Oh, look, we've got Spanxias there. They've got the easy to you easy very easy to see the labeling here of what the card is okay very important i feel like this is a very good beginner's deck if you want to dive into something a bit more but obviously too it's for advanced and intermediate now the cards themselves i haven't got these in order by the way i've got them shuffled ready to utilize in my live which i'm going to do next giving readings but the cards themselves, when we pull out, for instance, let's just pull out the bottom card, death. Okay, when we pull out this card, look, can you see that there, the symbolism there? Look, the shadow there, what's behind the curtain, you know? So when we look up this card here, obviously it's at the beginning, being the major arcana. When we see this here, it talks about each card is a story. And this is the White Bear King Velamon. 
Norway, Norwegian fairy tale. Death is a huge upheaval, potentially representing the death of one way of life and the start of a new one. Life changes irrevocably and there is no way to go back. Change is necessary. The death of childhood is important in order to grow up. And then we have the upright meanings, metamorphosis, evolution, loss, transition and change, and the reversed, stagnation, immobility, stubbornness, festering and decay. So it's a very good deck to read both upright and reversed now this is where it gets a bit dicey for me because i don't like to get into my brain thinking about stories thinking about fairy tales that's why i don't feel like this deck is for me but for you possibly you may feel very different to it so if we look at the sample reading, for instance, it discusses about the beauty and the beast. An initial reading of this card may suggest love, romance, and connection. The story of the beauty and the beast also involves themes of power imbalance, growth, the choice to stay or leave, and ultimately a couple learning to complement each other. So for me, I find that this is where I could slip into the thinking side of my brain as opposed to my intuition, which for me is quite dangerous because then I start to question the meanings of the cards. Now, we look at this one, the Three of Wands. If I ask you what story is the Three of Wands come from, you'll know straight away by looking at this card because you'll think, aha, the Enchanted Pig. Well, I don't think that way at all because I do not know the story of the Enchanted Pig, which is a story, it's a Romanian fairy tale story. Did you know that? I didn't know that. So there's a lot of stories here that I don't know of. If you're wanting to dive deeper, do some reading, there is another book that goes with this that provides all of the stories. Doesn't work for me. Um, I, I just, I don't want anything else to read. I just want to grab, grab, I just want to grab a tarot deck, shuffle it and have the meaning. A lot of people love to go in and have this romanticizing love relationship with their decks. I'm not like that. I really not. I'm not, I'm, I'm not one for, um, great detail. You know, that, that is just not me. You know, I can read and shuffle these cards and do a thousand readings and each time I'll see something new. I, I don't open a deck and I don't look at the deck in such detail that when I do a reading, I know the card inside and out. I like to be surprised each and every time that I utilize a deck. And yeah, I've done some beautiful readings with this deck, but I don't feel like I have utilized the deck the way it should be. And that is incorporating the fairy tale or the story storyline or the myth into the reading itself. Perhaps you will. So, for instance, the Eight of Swords here, this is the donkey skin tale from France. The Eight of Swords represents being caught in, up in your own insecurities. Donkey skin was forced into hiding to escape a bad situation. Now she is faced with the decision to continue the life she has created or to step out of her self-made prison. So you've got anxiety, victimhood, feeling trapped, paralyzed and crisis. So... Yeah, I, I don't feel like for me knowing the stories and incorporating them into my readings is helpful for me. This is my favorite cut of the deck, by the way. Um, but it may really, really help you. You know, you may be one that will utilize the deck for an entire year, grow with it, dive deep with it. You may be one that knows a lot of these stories and, you know, you may know them from childhood. It may be a part of you that you've shared with your grandparents or your parents. And that may be another reason why this deck becomes very, very, very special for you. So, yeah, interesting, you know, beautiful deck. I've had a lot of fun working with this deck. But again, I utilize it very simply as a tarot. I probably don't dive as deep as I possibly should with incorporating the stories and the myths that one can can utilize with this deck. 
Now the Four of Cups is a nightingale and that's from Denmark and the Four of Cups represents romanticising bad choices while ignoring the good alternatives before you. It is what is superficially better, neglecting a plain nightingale who can actually sing away death. So yeah, I wouldn't know that fairy tale. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm my childhood's been robbed with a lot of these stories. Like I do know a lot of fairy tales, but I definitely didn't know that one either. So it is an interesting deck. You'll love it if you, I guess, want to learn something new and different. You know, like I'm not at that stage of my life where I want to be reading anymore or learning anything currently than what I'm doing. My life's quite busy. Um, so yeah, I just feel like this deck would really work with somebody who loves reading, who loves fairy tales, who knows a lot about fairy tales, who loves diving deeper into a deck more so than me. You know, I probably do skim over the top in with my readings as such, then I could go deeper. So the artwork on this deck is absolutely stunning. Each card is very unique. Um, each card has a similar sort of color palette so it doesn't for me it, I don't find it very um, distracting I feel like sometimes when some decks are done in such different artistry you can find it distracting in that way it's kept with a very uniform look and uniform style I'd really like to know whether you own this deck and what you think about it and how you read it and or whether you if you would think about purchasing this deck simply because it's giving you an option to learn more or into in, or incorporate um, stories and visions into your tarot readings i'd be really interested to know let me know what you think um, if you've stuck around to the end of this reading put a i don't know a heart into the comments but let's shuffle let's get a message see what the energy of the day i'm just going to shuffle off camera interesting we've come up with the three of wands which we spoke about before so it's all about self-motivation today it's all about motivating yourself getting up getting out of it you know really stretching your goals doing things that you you have to adjust to and really i want to say get ahead of the game you know like really work on yourself if you're not you know and that can be health wise that can be exercising but there is an opportunity here to really stretch yourself you know really be persistent as i grab another card be persistent and have that inner strength to really push yourself you know because the goals are definitely there but you've really really got to um, work hard and if that means getting up an hour earlier in order to strive for something that you've been working towards or learning something new now's the time to do so you could find yourself pushing yourself out of the comfort zone and doing things with others, you know, but there is a time here of really learning more, you know, be very, very mindful of um, if you are looking at health or losing weight, be mindful about how you're celebrating, what you're eating, you know, just your disciplines there. How are you interacting with other people? Is it a healthy mindset? Just be mindful about that, but it's definitely about persisting and working hard and working towards something, a goal that perhaps you can share with others and show others how um, how brilliant you are and really sharing your skills and mindset. So that is it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please comment. It really helps the channel. I really appreciate that and my efforts in here. But as I said, that is the Tarot of the Divine, the deck and the guidebook. I will put the link in the description box if you choose to purchase it. Let me know what you think. I would really be interested to know why did you purchase it or why will you not purchase this as well. Until next time.